Tuesday, everybody. Hope you're doing well. I'm going to kill this music and let's start this one. Hope everything's going well today. I uh, hope you had a nice Monday. Hope you had a great Tuesday. And here we are together um, for another week of Let's Make Some Games. Before we get to that, I want to talk about the rest of this week, what we have coming up, because we have some really, really cool things. Tomorrow is the second episode of Search It Up where we are going to be printing a mysterious item and you have to use either your internet searching skills or just guess luck to figure out what it is that we are 3D printing. If you guess it correctly, you get put into a drawing and one person will win a high quality version of what we're printing. What we're printing isn't the highest quality. Um, whoops. Sorry, I'm trying to pull it up to manage my stream and I had the audio there. What we're printing isn't necessarily the highest quality because we need to print it out quickly. Um, but we are um, going to choose somebody at random to win it. Last week it was a Bulbasaur um, and Riot from, uh, oh, I forget what school, I want to say Marshall, but I may not be right, um, won it. So we're 3D printing a nice high quality one for her that we'll mail out to her. Um, so join us tomorrow at 3.30. All our streams are always at 3.30, same time every week. Uh, then that means on Thursday, Laura Houston is back and she's gonna do another awesome stream of simple art you can do at home. So simple art at home, please join in for that. She's gonna have you do something very special where they're gonna be sending things out to first responders and those that are essential workers helping us all out at this time. So she's got a really cool art project for you to work on and um, it's gonna get into the hands of some awesome uh, people. So please join us for that. And Friday, Friday we have a brand new stream. It is a game show, we'll be doing it live and your principal or your vice principal will be on this game show live answering questions about movies, music, games, TV, toys. And the question has a 50-50 chance of being an old school question, something from maybe like 70s, 80s, 90s, or a new school question, something brand new from like only maybe one or two years old. Uh, like a song that's only a year old or a toy that just came out over Christmas or something like that where you might know the answer but your principal may not. So um, your school will be sharing out a Google Doc for you to be able to have access to so that during the game show if you're like, oh, I know the answer to that one, you can type it in real quick and hopefully your principal's going, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, wait a minute, let me check. Oh, it says right there. Okay, perfect. LOL surprise, that's the answer. So. Uh, join us again, 3.30, it's always at 3.30 um, on our YouTube channel and you'll be able to live interact with your principal and we'll have a school that wins. So Tuesdays, let's make some games. Wednesdays, search it up, 3D printing contest. Uh, Thursdays, we have uh, Laura Houston's doing simple art at home, awesome art you can do at home. And Friday's brand new this week, starting this Friday, 3.30, you can help your school win by answering trivia questions about music, movies, television, games, not necessarily always video games, games, and toys. I always forget the toys one, toys. So that's what's coming up this week. But that's not what we're doing today. What we're doing today is we are playing Animal Crossing. And uh, this was kind of a request from a lot of you guys. You had asked that we spend some time on Animal Crossing. And so we're gonna take a break from Mario Maker for a little while, and we're gonna move over to Animal Crossing. Um, side note, Mario Maker had a gigantic update last week. I have not had time to dig through everything, but when we come back finally with Mario Maker, we'll get into the update because the update has a lot of cool stuff where you can build a whole multi-level game, almost an entire Mario game, not just one level or two levels. So I got to explore that, get more comfortable with it, and I'll bring that to you guys. But what we're doing today is we're doing Animal Crossing, and it is not called Let's Play Some Games. It's called Let's Make Some Games. So we're going to make a game. If you were with us last week, you saw me try to do it and our video just was not working out. It kept stuttering over and over and over again. Um, so you might have had a little preview of it. Um, so today you're going to see a bit of a repeat, but not too much. There's Coco, my favorite villager of all time, Coco. Um, she is made out of a coconut. And um, I like her because her expression doesn't change. When she's sad, she looks like that. When she's happy, she looks like that. When she's just bored and doesn't know what's going on, she looks like that. Um, so she's got a bit of a nice poker face. Um, able to kind of control her emotions a little bit, whereas I clearly almost always show my emotions when I'm upset, when I'm happy, whatever. So Coco's a bit of uh, something I would like to be sometimes. So uh, I'm going to give you a bit of a tour of my island. Maybe you want to see my island for a little bit, and that just kind of helps me calibrate where everything is. So 
Um, when you get out of the airport and you come to my island, you have two choices. You can go look at my villagers or you can go shop. And so um, based on what people are here for, I'm going to show you my, my town. So if you don't know what to do, you just kind of sit here, hang out at this bench, and then you go, oh, I know what to do. Uh, so there's a gas station over here if you need to refuel your tricycle or your scooter. Um, and then I've got all of my villagers' homes into sort of like a, a neighborhood here. So I've got a neighborhood, and then unfortunately not all 10 fit in, so you got some over here as well. And then what I tried to do was I tried to put something in front of the lawn for each neighbor that represents them. So Blue Bear here, she wants to be a pop star. She's always singing. She's always making music. So I gave Blue Bear um, a microphone. And if you've played this game before, you know that your villagers will interact with stuff. So I'll catch my villagers every now and then coming over here and um, singing on the microphone. And somebody says you're doing the Naruto run. Now this is the Naruto run right here. Here we go. I catch my villagers every now and then doing that too. Three of them just doing Naruto runs left and right all over my town. So, so those are my homes. Um, up this brickway right here takes you to the museum. So there's a museum. I've got my woolly mammoth here. Um, I've got my trilobite there. It's not really a trilobite. I don't forget what that's called. I got my kiosk here if you want to get in. Uh, I got a rainbow um, beetle. I got the uh, skull. Um, and it's hard to see it but I'm gonna zoom up to see if you can see it. And then I got a big brontosaurus in the back. My hope was as you came over the bridge, the brontosaurus would like come up and over the building and look at you, but it doesn't work. Look, you won't even notice it. No matter how far away you run, it never pops up. It always stays hidden back there. So um, I have to tell people, stop halfway on the bridge and then look up and there's the brontosaurus. So that's that and let's see what else up oh, there's my playground right here in case you want to do something you can come in here and you can you know make the make the horse spring back and forth that sort of a thing um let's run back over here so i said when you come out of the airport you got to, there's coco again love coco come out of the airport you got two places so uh there's my lanterns there's my uh for my fishing derby i got that i'm really proud of that there's my nook raccoon statue just built this last night actually a uh, water sort of structure thing um really 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 forced me to learn all the ins and outs of terraforming which i'm going to need to be able to make this game anyway um so really it looks cool at night the fountain all lights up and everything so there's that um here's where i'm going to put up some this is a work in progress i'm going to put up some um stalls for people to sell things uh so when i when my both my kids want to come over uh, my brother his girlfriend co-workers whatever and they want to sell stuff they can just stand behind the stall drop it every saturday we do like a, a swap meet kind of thing come to our town drop all your stuff on the ground and trade and all that sort of stuff so we got that um there's my nook's cranny and then back behind we have the able sisters there's the fortune cookie stall a uh, little mini library i wish it opened but it doesn't and then you go up and over the bridge and back here is my campground. So random vis uh, villagers will visit and maybe want to move in. Got to go through the forest to get there and then come around. My favorite thing in the game, these cherry blossom lanterns, my absolute favorite thing in the game. I love these things. And then my grove. So you got the grove there and then you got the beach and up and over here on the next couple. Oop, there's a money spot there on these next couple of levels is where my home is eventually going to be. Um, I mean, it's there, but I haven't like really built it up and everything, but eventually it'll be there and it'll look awesome and it will look, ooh, um, it'll look cool. So oh, I got a money tree there. So if you have any kind of max, uh, just a little explore of my town or my village, because we're going to be exploring this a lot when we build this game. So remember the idea is I'm going to build an escape, escape room, but we're going to call it escape Island. And, um, next week Parker's going to play this. So Parker, my son, um, some of you might know him. I think he was on a stream a couple of weeks ago you might go to school with him and know him um he's going to come in blindly and he's going to try to get off of the island so the deal is he's going to step out of that airport with nothing i'm going to tell him you got to leave your shovel you got to leave your pole vault you got to leave your ladder you got to leave everything axe all that stuff um you're not going to be able to bring anything with you you're going to have to earn everything in order to get off of this island and so that's kind of where we are so one of the first things he had to get was a shovel now the clue i put up last week involved five trees there's only three there so i'm gonna have to pick this shovel up i'm going to do something else so let's go back to the courtyard and let's figure out where we're going to start probably notice a lot of flowers flower breeding is my favorite thing to do in animal crossing since the very first one i ever played on gamecube through ds 3ds we everything i love flower breeding okay can't do anything in here they don't let you do anything there hey, there's coco again oh there's mac okay so i'm gonna since this area is kind of just 
a work in progress anyway, and I'm not gonna get to it this week. I got a lot going on. I'm gonna I'm gonna tear up this area just a bit. So I'm gonna terraform. Should I start up the designer? Yes, please start the designer. All right, here we go. And I've got some options. So I can dig out a moat, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna build a pillar and I'm gonna build a huge pillar right here. Sorry, Mac, you're trying to get there. I'm, I'm getting in your way. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna make it like this. I'm gonna do a, a two a two story high pillar. So we'll do it like this. Fill this one in. Fill, I hope that goes in the right. Yeah, that's fine. Fill that one in. No, don't chip that one away. The, this game really needs hitboxes so you can see what you're about to do. You kind of guess and think you know what you're gonna do. All right, now I'm gonna get my ladder, get up here. So this is why he's gonna be kept away from it because he won't have the ladder when he starts. He's gonna have to earn it. And so, nope, right there. Perfect. Can the ladder take me up? Can you go up one thing? Sweet. That's what he's gotta get to in order to get off the island. So the way we're going to do this, oh, the cat, that, that's Kabuki. He's my other favorite one. I got so lucky with Kabuki on my island. Um, Kabuki is one of my favorite, hey Kabuki, one of my absolute favorite uh, villagers. I had him on the uh, 3DS version. I don't know if he was in any other versions before that. Um, I forgot to get my Nook Miles ticket. So um, I'm gonna give Parker a Nook Miles ticket for um, figuring this out. That's worth 2,000 Nook miles, so that's that's nothing to sneeze at. So let's grab, I've got five of them. I'm not giving them five. That's way too generous. We'll give him one. There we go. All right. One of the bummers, I have my house way out in the back is if I forget something in the middle of my town, I got to run all the way back and try to get it. So let's go. Thank you. It took me... Oh, about a month or so to get all the clothing pieces I liked. I really love my back, my um, duffel bag thing here. Uh, Kicks visits your town maybe like once a week. I think you have odds of possibly getting them once a week, but not guaranteed. Um, all right, can I drop this? Yes, perfect. All right. So when Parker gets here, that's going to be kind of like the treasure. He's got to try to get that treasure. But again, he's not going to have anything. So he's gonna have to earn it. He's gonna look like that. So I'm gonna stop construction because I don't wanna accidentally pull that down. So what I'm gonna have him do is I'm gonna bury a lot of stuff around the island. Um, and so I'm gonna he's gonna need a shovel and he's gotta have he's gonna have to find that shovel. So I gotta find a place to hide the uh, shovel. So I could put it back here, but he would never see it and I, I just don't think that's fair i could put it uh how cool would it be if i put it right here and made it so when you walk out of the airport you don't see it but he would realize when he finally finds it like oh, it was right there the whole time right where i first came in i'm gonna hold on to that one that's that's an idea i don't think it's the best idea but it's an idea I could put it in the yard of one of my villagers and give him a clue. I'm going to put a clue to where to find the shovel on the bulletin board. So that's how he'll know where to start. I could put it behind the barrel here. What does that look like if I put it behind the barrel? Man, I already forgot what it looked like. Uh, shovel. I have two of them. I have a polka dot one, but I don't want to give that one up. Nah, that's not what I want. All right, that doesn't look like there's enough room. Let's find somewhere else. And I have to look up on my screen because if I look straight at this one, I'm like a millisecond behind, which shouldn't matter, but it makes a huge difference. Um, let's see, is there anything recognizable? Yeah, I could always put it here. If I put it here, what does it look like? Nah, I don't see that. Well, I could put it behind the dinosaur footprint. What if I do that? How close can I get it? No, let's go back. It looks like it puts it behind me when I choose to drop it. Or to the side? Okay, so what if I go like... What if 
gonna go like this. I think I'm still too close. Darn it, all right. I think if I move up a little bit more, now let's try that. I can get this behind it. <laughs> it overcorrected, all right, I'm right in the middle. Come on, do it. Come on, just do this one. Oh, not even thinking. It's so obvious how to do this. Drop it, and then I simply move this back. Short. Nope, too far. There we go. Okay, so if he's running, 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 he might see that. He's running all over. Yeah. All right, let's let's go with that. I don't want to spend too much time on that. That's just the first part. Um, so. Oops, but our bulletin board, and we gotta leave a message. I gotta think of a clue for telling him to go to the museum, a clue for the dinosaur. I don't know if you guys have any ideas what a clue could be. Um, Blathers is an owl, he runs a museum. I could do something with owls. Um, I don't know. What could we do? <laughs> You guys are good with suggestions usually. You're telling me to change things in Mario Maker all the time that I don't necessarily want to change because it makes it so difficult and I'm not good at the game. Um, something about museum, fossils, dinosaur, owl, Jurassic Hoot. Oh, I love it. That's a good one. Oh, hey, Mr. Paniagua's in here. Awesome. Welcome. I like that one. Jurassic. So we'll do something about Jurassic Hoot. I love that. Okay. Um, let's do... Um, you... We'll say you need something to dig. Nope. No, 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 no. I need to edit it. Yeah. You need Whoops. Man, I'm making all kinds of mistakes. You need something. to dig. You know what, we'll say that's a who. Um, that's, do I have, I do have a apostrophe. That's a hoot. Oops. Cool. I like that. Do I want to draw anything? No. I think we talked about that last week. I don't want to draw anything. Um, cool. You need something to dig that's a hoot. I think you might get that. We'll find out. Sometimes when you make these games, you don't, and we talk about this all the time when we make these games, you want to make them difficult enough that they're fun, but not so difficult that they're frustrating. Easy enough that I don't get frustrated, but not so easy that it's boring and I give up. And sometimes you just don't know. You know, we were making questions today for a trivia game, and some of us were like, I don't know if these questions are too hard or too easy. Well, sometimes you just don't know until you play the game and people answer the questions. You go, ooh, those were way too easy. Or we've done five questions and no one's gotten one right. So sometimes you just you just don't know. Okay. So once he gets the shovel, then I want him to go start um, digging places and so what I want him to do is I want him to dig around and eventually I want him to get what he needs in order to make a fishing pole because he needs to fish so he needs to dig for five tree branches um, uh, no you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make the I'm gonna make the fishing pole for him I think if I bury too many things, it's just gonna be too much. So I'm gonna bury I'm gonna bury a lot of stuff, but I'm just gonna bury the fishing pole right away. So I need to craft one for him. So it's what did I say it was? Five branches. Yeah, five branches. And sometimes things get in the way, it's hard to see. Thankfully I have my little forest back here full of branches. And so we'll go over to my house, we'll craft a oh, grab that one just to have it. Oh, grab that one just to have it. 
spend this whole game picking up branches and picking up weeds. Um, so in order to make a ladder, you have to have a bunch of different types of wood. Oh, grab that one. No, I'll get that fossil later. So I'm gonna bury a bunch of wood all around and I'm gonna bury a fishing pole. And so basically he's gonna to have to dig up the wood, but it's only gonna give him part of what he needs. He's gonna get a fishing pole. He's gonna use the fishing pole to catch enough fish to sell for 1,000 bells. He's gonna give me the 1,000 bells and then I'm gonna give him the clue of how to make a pole vault. The pole vault he'll build, that'll take him across over to the rest of the wood he needs in order to get the shovel. He'll then get, or to get the ladder, he'll then use the ladder to climb up to get the ticket. Uh, all right can you watch if you don't have a switch absolutely that's what we're here for um and if you don't have animal crossing oh i already had a fishing pole made cool um it's totally fine this game is fun to just sit and watch i need soft wood no wait what do i need no i do i need soft wood i need regular wood and i need hard wood i need four of each so i'm gonna have to go use my axe and get some regular wood but let's get this buried first at least um so so he's done the clue at the bulletin board he finds the shovel now he's got to go start digging stuff up so that means i get to now start burying things and i'm not going to give him any clues on burying he's just gonna have to run all over and look so i'm gonna bury right here kind of out of the out of the way that's my good fishing pole. I don't want him having that. What happened? Didn't I put my flimsy fishing pole in here? I could have sworn I did. Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> my good fishing pole broke last night. That's why. I thought I had one on me. No. Okay, there's the fishing pole. Now, let's switch to my axe. I need to get regular wood. Soft wood, soft wood, regular wood. Cool. I need four of those, and I think I have three now total. Yep, I need one more. Regular wood, cool. Soft wood, hard wood. Never works out that way where you get one of each. All right, now I'm going to go bury four regular wood. And the reason I'm going to bury four regular wood is because um, I want him to have not the wood he needs for the vault, the pole vault, but the wood that he would need later for the ladder. So I'm gonna bury him and I'm just gonna choose random areas. Um, I could be really evil and do it right here in front of that tree where you wouldn't even know, but I'm not going to, I'm gonna do it nearby. So we'll put, um, grab one. Bury. I need to remind myself later that those are not fossils. Oh, I'll put it near a villager's house. He wouldn't even think to go to a villager's house. Grab one. Bury. Sorry, I gotta take a notice when my villagers are using my areas. It's awesome to see Mitzi just sitting there on the tire toy. I don't know what to do on that tire toy other than sit. Now we'll bury one here. Um, grab one. Bury. Cool. That one's hidden. That'll take him a while. And da, 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 da. I can't go up too many levels or I have to be careful where I do go up because he's not going to have a ladder so he's not going to know. Now I'm going to make it back here in my camp. I don't even think he would think to look back here. I'm just very like that. And he might, that's up, enough up against the edge that if he's running on the other side of this lake or river, um, he might do that. Um, da, 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 da. Are there any locks? No, you pretty much, you give people either access to run around your whole island or they can make changes to your island if you're your best friends. Or if like I wanna block you from getting on that bridge, I would just build a rope fence and I would just throw a fence up ah, come on like that and then put another one here and then I think that's blocked yeah so then if you were visiting and you don't have any right smile and you can't get across my bridge so um, sometimes when you want to invite people like hey my villagers making you know a cutting board or my villagers making a uh, you know kit, uh, 
ironwood bed or whatever, come talk to them and you don't want them running around your whole island, you run around, drop down some fences so they can't get it everywhere, and then you invite them to your island. Um, okay, so I've buried that wood. He'll need that wood later to make the ladder. That's one of the three types of wood he needs. He needs regular wood, softwood, and hardwood. So by digging those up, he'll get the regular wood. So then what he has to do next is he'll have to use that fishing pole. And, um, oh, I needed to leave, I need to leave another clue at the bulletin board. So I need to come here and I need to edit this. And I need to say, oh, wait, what? Yeah, rewrite. Rewrite. There we go. Keyboard. This is clue one. Um, I'm going to lock this. There we go. Clue one. Whoops. <laughs> Clue, oh, where's my numbers? One, hold on, need something to dig. That's a hoot. Okay, now I need to do a clue on what to do with the fishing pole, and I know what I want to do for that one. I'm going to say, clue two is gonna cost him money. Clue two, Clue two, that is not how you spell clue. Typing in this game is really, really frustrating. It's a, a great exercise in patience to not get super frustrated typing in this game. Uh, your next clue. thousand bells so he's thinking all right well I don't have anything how do I do that so when he sees this at the very start of the game once he gets the fishing pole he digs that up he realizes oh okay that's how I can get it and I'm gonna have to block off like my grove I don't want him picking fruit and then going and selling it so some of it is I got to make him like you know play the game I want him to make it um, and if after I do all that and he still figures out another way to get a thousand dollars without fishing the way I think he should, then hey, more power to him. He figured out a way to cheese my game that I didn't expect. So that's totally fine. Um, yeah, yeah. Mr. Paniagua was talking about how it's important to storyboard. I've got it kind of written here, some notes, and I've got like do this, do this, then come up here and do that and sort of thing. And some of it I have, <laughs> some of it says like, figure it out live on stream and then the other one is like don't figure this out live on stream it's gonna be really embarrassing for you so yeah plan it all out um, and know exactly what it is that you're doing as much as you can but allow yourself uh, to make up some stuff too along the way so some of this I'm gonna change as we go through um, okay so he's got the fishing pole he goes he fishes he gets all that um, and so now he needs his next clue his next clue I'm very excited about his next clue is going to be a piece of clothing so I'm gonna make a piece of clothing for him. I'm going to go to my pro patterns and I'm going to make a, um, I thought I had hoodies. Oh yeah, there we go. A hoodie for him. And the hoodie is going to be, what? Oh, I did not want that. Um, actually I'm somewhat okay with that. No, I like that better. The hoodie is going to be a picture of a pole vault, and that's going to tell him, oh, you need to make a pole vault. And then he's going to think, well, I don't have the wood for that. Oh, got to go find it. Then I'm going to go bury the wood somewhere else. So I'm going to draw a picture of a pole vault. I'm going to show you what one looks like here in a second if you haven't seen it. And then that I'll give him that hoodie after he gives me $1,000. Then he'll know, all right, it's a pole vault. I need to make one. And I don't have the um, soft wood that it takes. So I'm going to go find that soft wood. So I'm going to have to actually bury eight softwoods because it takes um no i think it's seven it takes three to make the pole vault it takes another four for the ladder um again back to mr paniagua's point 
storyboard it so you know what you're doing and you don't get confused. All right. Um, I was going to show you what a pole vault looks like. Uh, let's discard so I can show you what that looks like. So that is this guy right here. So it's basically just a brown stick with red tape on it. So that's what we're going to draw. But I'm going to try to give it some shading and stuff and make it look nice. Um, not that he's probably going to be super excited to get a, a hoodie with a stick on it. But yeah, uh, do the best I can with the art skills that I have. Um, my art skills are not great. Um, I'm working on them. I'm watching Miss Houston's art streams on Thursdays, and that's helping out a ton. Um, I'm learning a lot about shading, and I'm, I learned a lot about how to draw a vase and how you draw the circles the way you want it to be shaped, and you just connect the lines. That was mind-blowing. I didn't even think about that. So I'm going to change the palette cover here. That's a little too bright. All right, I like that. And I'm going to switch to the... Is that the back? Yeah, it's the back. I want the same color on the back. And I'm gonna switch to the sleeves and the sleeves. I think I want those to be black. Do I like that or do I not? I do not. Oh, I like that. For now at least. Okay, those are the colors. So it's kind of cool. All you do is just press the right stick down um, and it takes you through and you can see the, the little indicator tells you what you're editing. Sleeves, sleeve, front, back, sleeve, sleeve, front. All right, front, here we go. Let's draw a stick. All right, whoa, that's not what I wanted. Undo, undo, undo. Okay. Um, first of all, that brown is way too kind of like reddish, so I need to change it. Perfect. Um, then I need to come down here. I think it's about that kind of a brown. I'm gonna go with that. All right, I'm gonna get my pen and I'm gonna try to do a diagonal stick. I don't know how that's gonna go. I'm not great with diagonal drawings, but we'll see how that goes. Nah, see, already it, uh, All right, let's do it again. I started too far. Um, let's try here. All right, that's cool. I like that. That's that's coming along. I don't want to go too far. Perfect. Can we do the outline of the stick? How riveting and, and entertaining is this for you to watch somebody just draw a stick online? I'm not gonna leave it this way. I'm gonna make it a little bit more involved. Um, let's go to red. I remember it's red about part way up. Oops, I'll do that. I'll do that. I do not like that red. I need to go up one more at all. Let's change that. That's too pink like and pink is one of my is my absolute favorite color but it's way too pink for what it is there we go that's much better all right now let's do a bit of a highlight oops we'll fix that orange it's not exactly perfect but it's close Yeah, is the whole point to have fun? Yeah, the whole point is to do whatever you want. So um, if you guys aren't familiar with this game, Animal Crossing could be about um, 
decorating your home. It could be about just fishing for fish. There's fish that go in and out of season. I have been trying every single night to catch a blue marlin. I can catch all the tuna I need. I just cannot catch blue marlin. And I got other people that are catching blue marlin left and right and they can't get a tuna. And we're frantically trying to get it because the blue marlin goes away in April. Um, or you can breed special flowers by putting, you know, like two, like putting an orange and a blue um, hyacinth together might give you a purple one, you know, and there's a whole, you have to do the pundit square. You have to actually figure out the recessive and dominant genes of the flowers and figure out what kind you're about to get. Um, so it's really cool. And you can just, yeah, I'm obsessed with Animal Crossing too. You can just do so much. Uh, this is, uh, there might be individual games I like more than Animal Crossing, but when it comes to a whole series, this is my absolute all-time favorite series. I just love this game so much. All right, I'm going to edit that orange because I think maybe that's what's throwing it off. I just think it's not, ugh, it's just not doing it. Oh, I kind of like that. That's kind of more in line. No, I always do that. I always back out. Um, but I need to come back over and I need to grab that. There we go. There we go. I think I'm now landing on what I want to do. Much better. And I'm gonna make it a little bit longer up here. Oops, one too far. Went up onto the hood. <laughs> All right, and I need to get the red. This isn't the best looking. pole vault but I'm hoping he sees that and knows what it is almost with the green and the gray and all that it almost looks like uh it almost looks like Boba Fett in a way <laughs> like Boba Fett's armor kind of I mean not like 100 percent but I like it enough and it's not supposed to be perfect because it's supposed to be a clue so um that would be kind of his clue come up here then it that way maybe we'll go down a little bit further there we go all right cool I like it done and I don't want to call it pole vault because he might see that when he picks it up so we'll just call it um clue two I uh, no, 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 no clue two was the fishing so clue three there we go. Yeah, I like it. I might change the sleeves to not be green. I only put green on there because that's his favorite color. So, um, oh, I don't think I can give it to him. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I can't give that to him. I have to give him the design via their whole nonsense. Um, I'll display it like that. That's how he'll see the clue. And then I'll, I'll give him the design later. Okay, cool. So then he knows he has to use the pole vault and the pole vault's gonna take him to a place he couldn't get before. So we didn't tour this yet. So I'm gonna show you kind of my secret hidden. Sorry, I have to do this. All right, my secret hidden every, every, um, Every every four minutes or every five minutes on the 04 and the 09, a balloon flies by and you gotta grab it. Um, I'm gonna take this out of the way here, and he's gonna have to use the pole vault to get over here. Ugh, I got a rock there and I got that. And he's gonna find the wood buried all around here. So I'm going to bury. No, he needs the. He needs the, the pole vault to get here. So I'm gonna bury one here. Ooh, 
I'm not worried about hiding it so much because there's one part of this game I haven't shown you just yet. And I know we're going a little bit late. Nope, don't do that. Don't drop it. A little bit late today, but I want to get this as best as we can, and I'll, I'll finish up a bit if I need to. Grab one, drop, bury and hold. Got dangerously close to digging on my flowers there. Um, grab one, bury and hold. Put another one right here. Grab one, bury and hold. That's one, two, three. Did I do one over here already? Yeah, four. Okay, so those are the hardwoods that he needs to make the ladder. All he's missing is the softwood for the ladder and the softwood to make the pole vault. So those I'm going to randomly just leave laying around. I'm gonna just drop them and I'll do that later. I don't want that sitting in my town for the whole week. So that's gonna be just randomly dropping around. So let's kind of do this from the beginning and see if this all makes sense. So Parker lands here, he's got nothing on him. He can't do anything. He needs to earn it all. So he comes over here and he reads and he sees clue two, clue one. Clue one, you need to dig some, you need something to dig that's a hoot. Okay, he thinks about, thinks about, thinks about, oh, maybe it's a museum. So he goes over to the museum. He knows where my museum is. So he'll find it. And um, yeah, there is money in the trees. There's about 30,000 waiting in those trees for me later. And so he looks all around, looks all around, something to dig, something to dig. What does that mean? What does that mean? Maybe he sees my brontosaurus and gets spooked by it. Let's take a look at my brontosaurus again. Uh, look, it's so big, you can't even see him off the screen like that. Um, and he goes, wait, what's this? Oh, oh, picks it up, it's a shovel. Okay, a shovel, now I can start digging things up. So he runs around here, he digs up, digs up, and he gets um, four pieces of regular wood that he's gonna need later on, and he's gonna get the fishing pole. Oh, there was a second clue about earning money. Let me go back and read that. I know, I know. I want to get that one so badly, but I need to. We need to wrap this up. And it says your next clue will cost one thousand bells. All right, well I got a fishing pole. I'm gonna go fish. So it goes fish, gets the fish, comes over to my nook's cranny here, sells to Timmy and Tommy, gets a thousand. After he gets a thousand, then I do this. He then looks at it. No, come on. I'll spin it around for him. He looks at it. It's a pole vault. He goes, oh, I need to make a pole vault. That's why all that softwood was laying around. I didn't know what to do with it. Then he goes around and pick, 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 pick. It's not gonna be buried, picks it all up. Makes a pole vault. Then he takes the pole vault that he's made, comes all the way over here. Goes up this ramp. Goes up this ramp. Realizes this is where he finally can get to. He couldn't get there before. I'm going to get rid of those stepping stones. And then that one won't be there. That's a fossil. Then he picks up all this. That's a hardwood. He now has four hardwood. He has four softwood. And he has four regular wood from way in the beginning. That makes a ladder. He goes and crafts a ladder. And once he has the ladder... Once he has the ladder, he can finally come up here and he can climb up here and then climb up here and he get his Nook Miles ticket, which gets him out of the island. That's the story. The reality is he gets a free Nook Miles ticket, which was worth quite a bit. Um, and that's the game. Okay? Not that difficult. Next week, we're going to watch him play it and we're going to see if he um, can do it. You want a shout out for watching the video? <laughs> oh, you guys. All right, so we're gonna make it a little bit more difficult for him and we're going to introduce a new mechanic that just unlocked when my uh, shopping, my store upgraded, which is a, oh no, there it is, a timer. We're gonna buy a timer and he's going to be timed. Like every great escape room, escape, Breakout EDU, everything. You don't have forever, you gotta do it in a timer. So that kind of adds a little element there um, to it. So with my timer, set the timer, and I'm gonna give him 15 minutes. We're gonna give him 15 minutes. I think he'll probably need that and see if he can do it. So next week, um, 
when you come back, we're going to have Parker try out the game. And so um, that'll be kind of the first part of our stream. And then for the last part, we'll do just a quick preview of what was added to Mario Maker. We won't do much with it though next week. So that's everything we've got. I'm gonna keep talking to you while I have this screen up, which is please, please, please join us tomorrow for our uh, Search It Up, where we're gonna be 3D printing a random mystery item and we'll be giving you clues throughout the whole print that you can use to search up those clues on Google and try to guess what it is that we're uh, printing. You only get one guess. Um, so if you guess it correctly, you'll be put in a drawing to win that item. Um, we had Riot last week won a Bulbasaur. We're printing up a nice uh, high quality one for her that we'll be mailing out later this week. Thursday is Simple Art at Home with Laura Houston. She's going to be showing you awesome things you can do with art at home. And this week you guys can be making something special for our um, essential workers and first responders. So please tune in for that. And then Friday is a very special new show. We're going to be having an old school, new school game show where we're going to be having trivia that you are going to help your principals and vice principals answer because some of them are going to be new school questions about toys and music and games that just came out that they may have never heard of. But some might be old school ones from the 70s, 80s, and 90s that you can learn a little bit more about. So you guys are going to be able to help out your principals with this game show by giving them some of the answers. Um, and they'll be sending you a doc that you can use to kind of answer on that. And we'll share more with them later on this week. So that is everything. I hope you guys had a great time today. We went a little bit over our time. I hope you have a great week. Please join us tomorrow for Search It Up. Join Mrs. Cass uh, Mrs. Houston Thursday for um, uh, Simple Art at Home. It's an awesome show. You guys should watch it. And definitely please join us Friday for our game show. Have a great week.